what is up everybody and welcome back to another video so today i'm going to show you guys an easy beginners makeup every like everyday makeup look i had a lot of people request it i premiered um a video my vanity tour and so basically that well like what happens when i premiere a video is we all watch it at the same time um and you guys can type in the chat and i tried typed in the chat as well answering your guys' questions so if you guys ever were like seeing something that you guys wanted to know where it was from or something i could tell you guys and basically we just all watched the video together um that i posted and chatted about it so i do want to definitely premiere my videos more often um if i have time like after i if i'm not like posting my video in a rush i definitely will premiere it and chat with you guys but a lot of you guys are asking me a lot of questions so um you guys did want a video of in like a beginner's makeup because you guys were saying that you guys didn't really know what products to use you guys were beginners and you guys didn't really know what you were doing so i'm here to help you guys i'm not the best at explaining but i hope that i got the, my point across and i hope that i hope that i helped you guys a lot of you guys are asking also for a best like nude lip combo so i showed you guys a lot of my favorite lip liners and the shades and the brands and my favorite lip glosses and my favorite um lipsticks and i tried keeping everything affordable if i did not keep it affordable then i did um mention a dupe for you guys as i always do but yeah so i we went through a lot of things in this video but before we get started i want to talk about my nails because you guys were also asking about my nails in the video i did do my nails myself i did them again yesterday um i have all my nude swatches right here from the video because i'm filming the intro after i filmed the whole video so i do have all my nude swatches but these are the nails that i did and i use um a kiara sky little set you guys can look at kiara sky they are a bit pricey but um, that is what I used to do my nails. But I did want to mention some nail polishes. So today, um, on my nails right now, I have this color, which is a Secret Lover. I love these polishes. These are vegan um, and cruelty free, and the formula is so thick. You only need, you can get away with one coat. I did two coats, but um, that's really like you only need a couple coats. It's super thick and super pigmented, and I love, love, love the formula and the smell. It smells really good. Like smells like candy um you can use my code gabriella marie for 55 percent off a minimum of two polishes i definitely recommend getting a top coat and then a polish color or some multiple polish colors these are the polishes that i got i got seven of them so i'm super excited to create more nail art with all these polishes and i will definitely make sure to mention them in my next videos um i just have this one which is in marry me which is i think a little bit darker pink than this i have this one that is in, or it's maybe lighter it's a lighter pink then i have this one which is darker and this is in no strings attached perfect for springtime then i have this one is in white and this one is just in white addict then i have this one in do me a favor a little nude i have this bright bright pink which i'm super excited for the springtime to do and this one's in be my baby and then i have this one which is like a nude like purpley mauve and this one is in sandman which is i think my mom wants to do her nails but you guys should definitely during this pandemic start doing your own acrylics or just start giving yourself your own manicures at home and make sure to try out these polishes they are amazing you will not regret it and make sure to use my code for literally 55 percent off these polishes are like $20 and you can get them for literally like a 50 so go now snatch them all up because you guys need these polishes just get like a little uv light um from amazon and you can give yourself salon manicures from your house and you can also do your toes you know it's honestly a really um great investment especially during the pandemic to start doing your own nails and honestly getting your nails done is really expensive so budget and do your own trust me you will not regret it i have not regretted it my nails look amazing and i can do them whatever i want however i want and i did pay for everything but it is honestly a great investment because you're not paying 60 dollars every single time so yeah um so basically the moral of the story is do your own nails because are you kidding me these are bomb but anyway now that we're talking about nails we're gonna go on to talk about makeup and i'm gonna teach you guys how to do an easy everyday beginners makeup look so first skin and lip prep are so important they're like the most important thing ever so i like to start off with my heart pricker heart pricker heartbreaker jelly plumping lip mask from truly beauty this is amazing it's 14 dollars, but if you use my code i forgot what it is but i'll put it um you get some money off 
the first thing I like to start with is my brows. So for my brows, I use the ColourPop Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. The tip just looks like this, kind of reminds me like the Anastasia one. Um, I really like this um, brow pencil. It's one of my favorites. This is like my second one. My brows are super grown out. Um, hopefully you can't see that. But what I like to do is I just like to do hair like strokes. Because my brows are already really dark. Brows are usually like a personal preference to be honest. I'm just wiping that mid mix. I'm wiping the mask off. I just like to follow up with the Unicorn Fruit Lip Plumping Balm. It looks like this. Also $14. I love this guys. I use it all the time. And it comes with so much product. It is so cute. It's like a little... So adorable. So I'm just going to put that on my lips. I just need my Essence Brow Gel, which I've been using. You guys already know. Nothing new. I brushed them up, like, straight up. And I recently just trimmed my eyebrows so it's easier for me to just shape them. And then I just, you know, shape them a little bit. And I make sure to wipe off the extra brow gel at the top of my brows. Because then it does separate my foundation when I keep them, when I keep it on there. So now for priming my face, what that's what I do before I do my um outline my brows so today i'm going to be using the milk hydro grip primer the um hard candy primer is supposed to be a dupe for this and everybody says that they like that one and it's way more affordable um some people say that they like it better some people say it's a dupe but i haven't heard no bad things about it so i definitely recommend checking that out if you like if you want to try the hydro grip primer if you like the hydro grip primer Personally, that intrigued me a lot, but I did spend my money on this primer and I really like it, so I'm going to continue to use it. Ow! Then this has been my actual holy grail. This is my favorite thing ever. It is a little bit pricey. I don't know any dupes for this for a drugstore, unfortunately. If I did, I would tell you guys because anything high-end that I'm using today or non-affordable, I will tell you guys a dupe. I always do that in my videos just because I know um, it's not as easily accessible to all of us. Um, there might be to some, so I'm not sure what a dupe is for this, but it's honestly such a life changer. I think it's around 50 to 60 dollars, but it's so worth it. It just is so pretty on your skin. And then I just use the e.l.f. Putty Primer per usual. Um, I just use any like pore, you can use any pore filling primer. This is really affordable, but I know a lot of people actually don't like this one, but I know that they do have like three versions of it, so you guys should definitely try out the other three versions. So now that we're all moisturized, primed, we're all prepped, we're all ready, my skin is pretty nice, clear, whatever. Clear, yeah, no. Um, I have a lot of acne scars. My skin is a lot better, but I do have a lot of acne scars. Um, they're not really. I don't know they're like fading but they're not fading at the same time they're just you know doing their thing they're living their best life so today i'm going to be using the ultra creamy tart shape tape i use this once this is my second time using it i put it back in the little container though but um i do usually use a tart shape tape and i did get a new one of this one um i usually get i think it was light sand but i got 126 or 125 fair and this is like couple shades lighter because i feel like that one was still a little bit too dark for me this one's super white though but i really like bright under eyes um but i got the ultra creamy one and i also got this one i picked them up when i went to ulta last time so i usually use the creamy one it's for more like drier skin so if you like tar shape tape but it's a little bit too drying for you definitely try the ultra creamy it's meant for more drier skin and i really like this one but dupes for tar shape tape are the elf camel concealer this one is in the satin finish so basically the hydro one but you can also get the matte one um another dupe for tar shape tape is the l'oreal infallible full wear i love this one it's just a little bit too dark for me and i've used this years ago um but those are like affordable dupes for the tar shape tape if you want the same effect or similar effect two other ones that i wanted to mention from drugstore are the elf or not elf this is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Incognito. This is like $4. This was all over TikTok on my free page. So I decided to try it. And it's actually really good. And I do like it. ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer is one of my holy grails. I actually repurchased it. But it was more in the summertime when I was a little bit like more tanner. And I did my makeup. Well, I wasn't tan. I was never really tan. But I was just a little bit darker. I get a lot, I get pale really quickly. Um, but I did do my makeup a lot differently then. I'm just going to get a flat brush this is the aoa studios e115 just like a flat brush and i'm just going to dip in there and i'm going to outline my brows i love this elf 
flawless concealer brush it's amazing i've had this for years and i literally swear by it i've been looking i've been on the lookout for the brush again so i could repurchase it just because i feel like this brush i've used every single day for like years and i kind of even though i wash it everything i want to get a new one i also use this sonia kashuk little angled um concealer like tapered brush i love this one for like patting it in as well like it works really well um these both worked really good i like to blend out the middle just so it's not so harsh and i'm just blending that out up into like my forehead and then i'm going to get my little concealer brush this one i got from beauty creations and i'm just going to use my very iconic fit me powder you guys need this in your life as you can see you do need it um i love it. it smooths out your makeup so well and it sets it so nicely they also have like the pink version i think this one's the matte and poreless which i do have dry skin but it works pretty good on me i can get away with using a lot of um matte products because of the way i use them and how i use them and how i prep my skin but you know my my skin isn't right now it's not severely dry this is in the shade 120 i could go lighter but this just kind of matches my skin color so i just kind of put that all over now it's time for my foundation so first what i like to do is i use the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation this foundation is amazing it's literally the bomb i have mine in 405 porcelain if you guys have not tried this foundation i definitely recommend recommend you guys to try it it is the best foundation ever it leaves your skin super super smooth where is my foundation brush guys it's literally lost okay it's like a natural to matte finish it kind of gives you a little bit of a a little bit of like a glow it's kind of yeah i would say natural finish because it's definitely not like um it's definitely not dewy but it's also not like matte at the same time so i'm just gonna Put my foundation on my face. But I'm gonna use that brush I use for my concealer and I'm gonna conceal the top of my brows with the foundation. I use a foundation brush as well as a beauty sponge, but my forehead is like kind of small. It's not like super small, but it's like kind of hard to get my brush up there without getting like it in all over my hair and stuff. So I like to just use my concealer brush just to make sure it's all blended and then I blend this foundation into my um the middle of my brows and then just kind of blend that all out so it's nice and blended so now i'm gonna get my um ultimate blending elf brush i also use this real techniques foundation brush um it looks like this and sometimes i also use my sony kashuk but these i've used for a really long time i just recently got this one because i wanted to try something new but i'm gonna get my just little beauty sponge um i don't know which one this is it's got it from my boxy charm but I'm basically just going to blend that all over my face. I know I look like a ghost right now. Pat it into your skin. Makeup is meant to sit on your skin. It's really not meant to be soaking in your skin. So obviously it's going to look like you have makeup on. Um, but just to avoid um, any extra cakiness or anything, you know. Some people's skin texture, it's just going to look cakey. But honestly, um, like with my skin, it used to look really cakey. But there's nothing wrong, you know. Your skin is your skin and everybody's is different i'm just gonna blend out like my brow with my foundation a little bit i think it's about to get like 10 times wider but i'm gonna use my tarte shape Dip concealer in 125 and basically what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to go like this go like this i'm gonna get my kylie concealer this is the kylie concealer in pearl so i think this is the lightest shade um but it's a little bit like pinky undertone so it's really good for like brightening because it's kind of like a peach like, as if you're using a peach color corrector i have yellow tone so it's like it works good for me for like color correcting any dark spots or anything so now that my concealer is all blended out basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep patting over that with my beauty sponge and i'm going to keep doing this over and over again and i'm going to pat in my whole face around like three times literally i do this so much it makes a big difference it really makes sure that everything is settled in and just make sure that everything is blended and avoids any buildup and you know cakiness i'm gonna use my milk powder i don't have that many powders guys i ran out of like all of them but i got really picky with my powders as well i ran out of my kylie powder i really want but they're sold out at ulta and i hate kylie's website they literally every time i i love kylie and i love kylie's products but every time i order on her site it charges me multiple times like it'll like refund me and then charge me again and then you know like refund me and charge me again and then charge me again and like, like last time i paid like 
for three orders when I only ordered one and I was like girl what are you talking about I'm just gonna dust that all off of my eyes just so I don't have to worry about my eyes not being set but then I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty matchstick to contour my face not my nose though I contour my nose with bronzer but I do like to contour my face because I feel like it leaves like a more warmer like nicer look to it I like the Fenty Beauty matchstick um so this one is in the shade mocha i don't know if i said that but you can use the before i used to use the fit me um foundation stick and like just like a darker shade and it worked honestly like really good but yeah it's pretty much i like my depending on the day i contour less or more i don't really know um i also use the rare beauty liquid um blush a lot you can use the elf one i didn't even blend this side um, you can use, they have e.l.f. ones. They have a lot of different liquid blushes. But the Rare Beauty is honestly something I definitely recommend investing in. It is around $20. But you could find dupes. But it is honestly a really good formula. And this will last you a really long time. Mine is in Bliss. I'm not going to use it today because the um, I want to use a different blush. Because I'm wearing this shirt. And I think I have a perfect blush. I'm not going to wear that. But that is definitely if you want to stick to like a more dewy or a more like, you know creamer products then you should do that where i set my whole face so i like to use the fit me powder um i don't really like using the like a loose powder because it kind of gets all over my face and it gets caught all in my eyebrows um but i do like just to use my fit me powder and i just get my a real techniques this is like a blush brush or something but this is way too big for blush i've seen people actually use this for blush but for my compared to my blush brush I don't use this type of brush. Two of my favorite bronzers are the Kylie bronzer. This one is in khaki. And I also use the Fenty Beauty bronzer. This one is in In the Sun. I love them both the same. Um, I'm going to use the Kylie one today. Good drugstore foundation. Good drugstore bronzers. Are <laughs> Good drugstore bronzers are Physicians Formula, the Wet n Wild one. Um, there's a lot of good drugstore bronzers, guys. You guys should definitely check out the Wet n Wild one, though. I mean, the Wet n Wild one, yeah. It's super affordable. Um, but you guys could also check out the Physicians Formula one. I just like to kind of like press down my brush. This is a complex culture. This is a bronzing and sculpting brush or something like that. But I just like to, um, I like to press this in my skin. I like a lot of bronzer. I like being bronzed to the god. So now I'm going to get this JH36 brush. I love this brush. It's just like a regular fluffy brush. And I'm just going to get my bronzer. And this is what I do to do my eyeshadow. This is like my everyday eyeshadow look or whatever. Um, I just like to put it in my crease. See, like I'm just putting it in my crease. So kind of like where my eyeball, um, the tip of my eyeball. I just like to blend that all in there. Well, I actually put a lot of bronzer today. But you don't need to put this much. I just accidentally put that much. But this is supposed to be more of a subtler, like, subtle look. Then I like to get just a flat, like, you know, this one's a more of a fluffy, but it doesn't really matter. It's like a flat, like, oval brush, as you can see. And I just get my Fit Me powder. Like, any pressed powder will work or if you have, like, wet eyeshadow. But I just like to put this in my, um, on my lid, just all over my lid, just to lighten that back up a little bit since i'm using falsies today i'm just gonna use my l'oreal telescopic just to blend in my eyelashes um i also sometimes would do like a little wing liner or like a brown wing liner but this is beginner friendly and we'll get into winged eyeliner a little bit later um i think i have a tutorial on how i do my winged eyeliner but this is just very beginner friendly um not too much contour not too much you know but i'm just going to coat my lashes so I'm going to dip into my bronzer and I'm just going to get this little flat brush. I got it on like my Valentine's Day or my February Rocky Charm. It's so cute. Um, this is the Glam brush. I'm not sure what it's called, but it did come in like a little set. So I'm just going to grab that and I'm going to go down my nose. And I'm going to go up here, all the way up and kind of connecting where i put my eyeshadow in there's different ways to contour your nose guys so don't think this is the only way that it's this way or no way this is just how i do it and it's kind of really beginner friendly because you don't really have to work with a lot kind of create a v-shape down here connecting those two spots and blending is key guys and then i'm just gonna go in with my um brush again and i'm just gonna create a little line across just to give yourself that like more button look effect I have like a I have like a white head on my nose so it does not look like this. 
But I'm just going to go on with my powder once again. Um, like I said, the Fit Me powder is a really good powder for drugstore. Um, I'm not really sure what other powders. I've tried a couple powders, but for the most part, um, Fit Me is the best. Fit Me is honestly the best way to go. And now it's time for blush. My favorite thing ever. Oh my god, I look crazy. Blush is my favorite thing. I'm using this one in pink powder. This is the Kylie one in pink powder. I love Kylie blushes. Melania also has really nice affordable blushes. You can go on AOA Studios. Um, I'm trying to think where else they have really nice blushes. Um, Wet n Wild has really nice ones. Maybelline Fit Me blushes are really good as well. You can get a lot. Physicians Formula has really good bront, um, blushes too. You can get a lot of different blushes. Um, but I love, love Kylie blushes. They are a little bit more expensive, but right now they're on sale for $8 at Ulta. So you guys should go get those ASAP if you guys want to try some. But I use either one of these. Um, this one is really good for like just, you know, getting on your temples. This one is a contour and blush brush. Or I use the Morphe M105 to do my blush. This has like a darker blush on it right now. So I'm just going to use this one because this one is clean. But I love this. I'm just applying this to like right there above my bronzer by my eyelids kind of. I like to put some on my chin and then just on my temples up here. And then I also put some on my nose after. So what I do use though is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage um, Foundation. Powder foundation. Powder foundation is honestly the best thing to ever happen to me. Not because I use it on my face, because I don't. My face would literally look like the Sahara Desert if I tried that. But it's a great like um, powder because it's so pigmented and it'll make you your like face so bright. I get like a color, um, like a lighter shade. I'm not sure which one. This is in 120 Natural Ivory. It's super white. Um, I just use it on this Morphe M438 brush right here, just to brighten up like the center of my face. And then I'm going to go on to the middle of my brows as well as the side of my face. Go under my eyes and back right here connecting that just to brighten up my eyes a little bit. I know the L'Oreal Infallible Powder Foundation is really like popular right now. So you could use that one if you have that one. Um, but I usually use a shade lighter just to brighten my face up. I'm going to grab my blush once again. Dip in there and get the tip of my nose all blushed up. I love blush on the tip of my nose. Um, so yeah, that is basically that. Now I'm gonna go on for highlighter. I'm using the Fenty Beauty highlighter. I don't really think I have to go too in detail about highlighters. I feel like everybody kind of knows what kind of highlighters they kind of want to go for, you know. Um, highlighters, every brand has highlighters. Morphe highlighters are really great. Not Morphe. Milani highlighters are really great. Um let's see. Kylie highlighters, are, Kylie highlighters are actually really good too. And you can get them at Ulta right now for $8. I didn't get any because I only got one of them. They're not like the best. But if you're looking for like a nice little highlighter, um, it will work. I'm getting a pencil brush and just doing my inner corner highlight. And then I'm going with my Becca Champagne Pop just for a little bit more of a glow. Because this Fenty Beauty um, Diamond Balm and How Many Carrots is really like separated. It's like more of glitter on your face and highlighter so i just like to put like a solid highlighter on just for a little bit more of a glow the lash glues i like to use are the kiss lash glue liner and the kiss lash strip adhesive um this one's one with aloe vera i like them both equally they're both really good um i also like aoa studios but we're gonna go on to my lashes i'm just gonna put on my lashes real quick and i'm gonna come back and show you guys the best nude combos for your lips so my lashes are on now and I'm just using the Kiss Lashes in Glam if you guys were wondering. Um, I just have a little bit more things to do before we start on our lips. But I'm just going to waterline my waterline. How do you even see this? Waterline my waterline. That doesn't even make sense. And this is just the NYX um, Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And then I'm going to be using my ColourPop Mascara, the brown one. This one is in Brownie Points. Um, this is the BFF Volumizing Mascara. Yeah, not really anything I can do about my long bottom lashes. Like, they're literally... So, I did prep my lips with the Truly Beauty mask and um, balms. You can use chapstick, but my lips are already moisturized from my prep that I did before I started my makeup. But we're going to start on first with lip liners. I love lip liners, as you can see. Um, I love all lip liners. They're honestly really all gorgeous to me. Um, lip liners have to be one of my favorite makeup products besides lashes. TBH, they are my babes. I picked out my favorite NYX ones. NYX are super affordable. They're like probably like 
four to eight dollars at most um the only reason why some of them are eight was because this one is retractable i think it's like seven or eight and then this one is a like um i don't know what this is this is like suede or something i don't know what the difference is between these ones and these ones. i know these ones are more expensive but so the first one i wanted to show you guys is this one and this is the retractable one and this one isn't natural 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 or whatever kind of orangey little brown moment i love it it's honestly really gorgeous i use this one all the time i usually have this one in my purse a lot because it is retractable so it's easier just to you know retract it and i don't have to carry a sharpener around with me this next one is nude suede shoes i love 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 this one i use it all the time um it's more of a pinky though as you can see like the difference it is definitely more of a pinky but it honestly is really gorgeous um my lips as you can see they ha do have a pink like tint to it so this is really good for outlining my lips because you can't really First tell this is a new truffle i love this one it's like a darker brown which i love dark brown lip liners that's new truffle that one is this one right here um i love it as you can see it gets a lot of love it looks a little dirty but i recently got this one and i've used it a lot this one is a lighter brown it kind of has a little bit of a like um orangey mauvey tone to it this one is in sandstorm i love this one so much it is really pretty as well this one is in sand um we know this one is in london which i really like this one as well this one is a more of a darker so if you're looking for more of a darker brown this is a nutmeg which is more of a like darker as you can see but the like darkest out of all of them if you're looking for a really really dark brown lip liner this one is an espresso i was on the lookout for this one for so long i have not yet used it because it kind of intimidates me because of how dark it is but i do want to use this i definitely want to try a look out with this one um Hey, son. Morphe lip liners do not get enough hype. They're only four dollars, and these are each only four dollars. And look at how long these tubes are. Literally, like compared to this, look at they're so long. These colors are amazing. The formula is amazing, and Morphe lip liners are probably one of my favorite lip liners. The first one is in Sweet Tea. When I tell you guys, this is the perfect lip liner ever. I kid you not. But that's what it looks like. This is Sweet Tea right here, which kind of let me try. It kind of looks like the third one I swatched. So if you're looking for one that's more easier accessible to you, the third next one that I swatched, I'll put the name. Um, but that one's really similar to this one. But I really, really do like this one. Sweet Tea is like my go-to nude lip liner. This one's a little bit of a lighter brown, but it still is really pretty. Um, I love, love, love that one. So these three right here, Sweet Tea, um, Sweetheart, and bite me those are really gorgeous those are like more brownies i wanted to show you guys this one this one's really good if you're doing more of a like a flirtier look and this one is in backseat love i love this one if we're more flirty like um pinky look so, i think this is the second to last lip liner brand i'm gonna talk about but this one is ColourPop. ColourPop lip liners are honestly amazing um my favorite one my go-to this one's like literally almost done i love this freaking color and this one is in bff this is the perfect like lighter nude if you're going for a more lighter um i use this i usually keep this in my purse it was in my purse right now so i wasn't in here how to go get up and get it next is this one and this one is in bff2 so this one's a more of a darker i also do have bff3 if you guys wanted to see that one bff3 is gorgeous we love her we love her we love her um she actually has not been sharpened yet we don't use her that much um so we're gonna i think i might use her today because we do not use her she's only been used like one time so let's put this to the side because we're gonna create a combination with this one today and this is in bff3 um last but not least is a more like i guess expensive but i like them if you have a little like if you can buy them and if you like can rationalize the price and everything i definitely do recommend you buying them but these are the kylie lip liners i've gone through um kylie lip liners like crazy i've actually already went through like two of them so i have these four right here that i want to show you guys and so let's just hurry up because this lip, this freaking video is going to be so long right here so this is brown sugar which literally looks like sweet tea why do brown sugar and sweet tea literally look like the same? A little dupe moment. Okay, so if you don't want to buy the Kylie one, definitely buy sweet tea. But this is like the Kylie version of sweet tea. I will say it is a, a cream. Um, Kylie lip liners are a lot creamier, and I like I like how they fill in the lips a lot better than any of these other lip liners. But they all do work. Oh, and ColourPop. ColourPop and Kylie are probably my favorite formulas. Um, Morphe. The only reason is just because it's more of a pencil, so it's a little bit more hard. But they do glide on really nicely. It's in K 
Candy K, which I use a lot for more flirty pinky looks. It is a little bit like more of a pinky than a, you know, peachy. Um, I like this one a lot as well. I say K. I love this one. This one kind of reminds me of like, um, I don't know. It kind of reminds me of one of them, but I don't know which one it is. But it's this one right here. That is Dulce K. And then this one is literally done for. And this one, you see this one all the time. This one is an ice latte. You see how small that is? Ice latte is my favorite, and I want to get a new one. But we're gonna six to trying to finish these ones that I have here. My favorite lipsticks are the NYX Suede Dainty Days lipstick, and this is so good. I love this lipstick so much. Honestly, amazing. Um, the formula is great and everything. And then we have the Morphe Bare All one, which is a great center shade as well. Perfect nudes. You could check out the NYX Suede. Um, they're like eight to nine bucks, and these are also eight dollars. But right now, I think they're having a sale, two for fifteen. Um, so the Bare All one is honestly really gorgeous nude, as you can see, and these are really high quality for really inexpensive. Then I have this ColourPop um, lippy stick in cookie i use this one all the freaking time it's such a gorgeous nude um these lip creams from nyx are no surprise to you guys i know you guys have seen these before this one is in london which is more of a brownie and then this one is in stockholm which is more of a like pinky these are gorgeous for your center shade also there are nyx butter gloss this one is in fortune cookie i love this perfect nude another perfect like nude for the middle is the anastasia ones in tasty which is this one and this one isn't sweet. It has a little bit of a pinky tone, but I swear you can't tell when you have them on your lipstick. They kind of just look like they lighten up your lips a little bit. And these are just the travel size. I definitely recommend the travel size. The formula is really great. But if you don't want to spend $20 on a lip gloss, I don't know about you guys, but I use different lip glosses every day. Like I'm never going to use the same one all the time. So why spend $20 on something you're not going to use every day when you have so many of them? Um, my holy grails are the Madison Beer Morphe Collection. I have Saturn mars mercury and another saturn um these are all perfect nude glosses i love 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 these these are my like all-time favorites so those are my favorite lip blenders lipsticks and glosses guys i hope this video is not too long because i did tell you guys a lot of information this was definitely a video that was long awaited because you guys wanted to hear about my lip combinations my everyday easy beginner makeup and my nails so i gave you guys all that information in today's video and i hope it was everything you guys expected it to be um let me film my outro right now and i'll just film my intro with my lips on because that's gonna save me some time but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope i helped you guys out with some nude lip combinations your nails if you're looking for if you're looking into doing your own nails as well as um this very nice easy simple everyday beginners makeup so anyway without me talking too much i hope you guys have an amazing day comment down below what you guys want to see next for me and i'll see you guys in my next video bye